here we're just on a drive off of our highway up from where we live in the mountains getting our last taste of the mountains before we leave hopefully this video is coming all right Pretty cloudy and dark, but this is just a road off up from where we live, takes you up into the mountain. Well, it's actually taking us down right now. Tracy's seen a nice bird, which you see lots and lots of. Yeah, somebody's got, somebody's got mandarins up there, but we couldn't get up there to get them anyway because it's quite an edge here. But you can see. What the roads are like although to be honest with you we've done these videos before and you don't get any idea of how steep these roads are <laughs> you have to take our word on it and you have to do the creepy crawly in the car just to make sure you don't get momentum if you happen to slide yes because uh, it wouldn't be good if you got well, look at the views these are absolutely beautiful. We don't even know where we're going. <laughs> no, I think we've been up this road probably before with Maria and Jimmy. No, not this one. Oh, I'm pretty no, sure we have, but no, okay. this one. Tracy doesn't think we have. No, I just know because of where it comes out. I think we've come out there before with no, them, we but came up further it don't matter. Where the goats were. But we were going to, she wanted us to go take a look at the goats, and I said, no way, I'm not going up that crazy road. Mm -hmm. Remember? I think we've been on this road before, no. so but that's okay. I'm not going to argue. It's okay. Whatever. Because we, I think we come this way the only time we went in the ring way up and then we got to a point we couldn't, she didn't want to drive anymore. We There's property up there no, and it was, was crazy. Over by Tana, Tana Maste. Okay. It I don't think by, it was, but okay. It was over by Tinamaste where the big yeah. waterfall is. Yeah. Either way, it's beautiful back here, down in we, here. So. That's when we stopped at that big house and we're knocking on the gate and uh, seeing if they were asking for what they wanted to know what the price they were asking for the house. Okay. The building here too. God, yeah, I remember that. Building. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit of building. This here's a new build. Here's what it looks of it. It's just a small house up on a plateau. But look at the views. You look at the views are beautiful. Even if you're down in the valleys and not looking over them, the views are still spectacular. Well, that's really. like our new place. We're kind of in a valley. Yeah, we're in a valley in our new property. We're not overlooking things, so to speak, but but it's just beautiful, beautiful views. Excuse the fact that I'm bouncing all around. So once again, the roads are rough. That's nice. There's all sorts of nice little homes built right on the yeah, edges. You see some beautiful Tico houses, like absolutely beautiful. Yep, you do. Some nice little places. People think of the developing countries that all the houses are like shacks and that, and some are, but some aren't, like, you know. Look at this, Tico this is a nice house. little house. Tico house. Yep, it is. It's, it's been built with the windows up above. It's very simple and very small, That's but you also nice. have to remember you can do a lot of living outside here. And it goes just goes to show you what you can do with a little piece of property too, because that's not a big piece of property. Nope. And there are views in the background there. Which I imagine to a lot of the Ticos that lived in the mountains their whole lives, it's just another day. We just, every time we go out, we find the views are just spectacular. They're always different. <laughs> we say, we always Yeah, we go on and on and on about it, but it's but because it, it is. It, nope. it just I guess is. it'd be the same if you lived out in BC, probably, maybe, I don't know. Or if you're not from there and you go over there, well, British Columbia, think, Canada is what I'm well, talking about. Well, the difference with BC Rockies. though is you don't see as many people living on the mountains as you do here. I don't know. I, I haven't really, I haven't really traveled remote. up in the mountains there, but they're remote. You don't see, you don't see houses. I mean, here you can drive in the mountains and you see a bloody uh, a tiki house in the middle of nowhere. There's a little wee shack there. Probably been there for years and years. It is nice. We'll miss it for sure. I mean, there are mountains where we're going, but they're not, not, I'm going to say yes. Different land, diff different yeah. I it's mean, they're still spectacular. They're, they're big mountains. They're big mountains, They're just a different landscape. See, so here are more Tico houses. Yeah, that's a nice little house too, it's right there. That's a nice little Tico house. Very nice. Yeah, that looks like a prefab. The prefab houses are really popular here. The, the concrete's already all made. And they put up the post and then they slide the panels, kind slabs. of concrete panels. Yeah, they're slabs down in between. And they can throw they can put them up literally in a days. Week. Yeah. A week. Yeah. There's all the places built up on the hills. And for every house that's up on the hill like that, there's a crazy road leading up to it. I can see a road there that's just crazy. See it? Yep. Up I between them? Yeah. They're going up. You might be able to see it in this footage, although I'm bouncing around a bit. 
try to hold it as still as I can, but it's difficult. Oops. And we have Cleto with us for the first time. Yeah. Cleto's driving in the car. We don't know if he's ever been in the car before. In a second, I'll zoom out so you can see him. Oops. We got it back normal here. There he is. And he's being really good. Mm -hmm. We don't know if he's ever been in a car before. Oh. And he's got his harness and his lead on. He's become quite civilized. Look at this bend. And his biscuit was beside him, but it, yeah, no, he hasn't eaten it. There's his biscuit. That's he's, another thing when you come here too, there's a lot of switchbacks, like really, really curvy bends. Yeah. Yes, there is. The road up there. That might be this road actually, but it is. It really goes down that heads up that way. Look at the place with like the thatched roof. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't say that I've something's been built up there with that roofing, which is nice. There's a little bridge there, and another road leading up to probably more houses. Yeah. See, look in front of us now. See, it gets really good. Well, I can hear water, I think. Well, there's like a place with a lookout right there. Yeah, this is the road's got switchbacks. Something fruit laying there. I don't know what it is. Oh, we're going over a bridge. And it's a freaking narrow bridge. Holy yeah, shit, we'll it's see. a narrow bridge. It's probably going to be nice, I bet you, though. Probably a nice waterway or river. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll stop and take some video of it. Okay, I'll pull over here. Yeah, oh, pull over there. German yeah, maybe we'll go go across with the other side. Maybe we just don't want to get him going if he's gonna bark. And I think he'd be alright. Seems right. to be okay. But just, just put you in. You could pull right down there. But if you wanted oh, to. I don't know if that's someone's property. I doubt it. Just somebody pulled down for river access. That's okay. We can walk down there. Just, just watch. Yeah, put your windows up so he doesn't jump out because that dog. Well, make, don't put them all the way up because it gets warm in here. Oh no, I know. There, that's good. Yeah, for him. Yeah. No, the shepherd's being really good. You can hear the water. This is what makes it beautiful here. This is just the drive and this is what you come across. And this is spectacularly beautiful. Of course, with rainy season, the, the rivers really get moving. This water is surprisingly clear for here too because usually it's coming down the mountains and it gets pretty. And then you can see where it runs off feeding this waterway. The mother, that's beautiful. And if you're so inclined and you wanted to, you could basically just put on a pair of shorts, come down here, swim in this if you wanted to. Or Although this is a little, it might be a little tricky, but these pools down here, you have absolutely nothing stopping you from just taking a dip. Oh, and there's a coffee, uh, I don't know what you call them, there's storage units and chutes. I'll show you down where Tracy just walked. Oh, she's got Toledo out. This is good, he's a good boy. These are everywhere. I'll show you one since there's one right here. These are for coffee, for the trucks to, uh, now I don't know if they still use them, But they're everywhere. These buildings are really cool. And you can see the truck could drive down here. And then the uh, coffee uh, down the chute to load the trucks. They're pretty cool buildings. They're all, well you see them all over the place in the mountains. The back roads. That looks like a sweet lemon tree there. I think that's sweet lemon there, Trace. I think that's a sweet lemon. So is the other side. No, that's beautiful. So is the other side. It's beautiful. It is. This is for sale, eh? Is it? 
I was just I was just showing him the coffee house thing. I don't know what you call them. Oh, is it? Well, this is quite a location, isn't it? Oh my God, it's spectacular. Yes, it is. Apparently, Tracy, the property's for sale. Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand U.S. dollar. I would say that's the this, that's yeah. the border, probably. Yeah. It's not very big. But no. look what you got. Although that's a roadway leading up past that gate. That's a temporary gate there. No, but I'm saying that's the property. You can all the way up. That's probably the property line right here. Where the trees are. Yeah, but I'm saying I wonder if they have a right of way, though, to get back into there. Yeah, because that's a roadway. They probably would have. Yeah. But yeah, these buildings are so boy. cool. They really are. They're always built right on the side of the mountain. Oh, they are. Hey. Oh, God, I love these things. What are they? Okay, come with me guys. Come over this way. Come over here. Come on, I gotta find another one. Wait, 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 wait. What are we looking for? Hold on, wait. I saw some more somewhere here. We're looking for something, but I don't know what Tracy hasn't said. Come on. Right. Okay, come here and put the camera down here. Here, you do it because oh, I can't. Camera. I haven't got my glasses, I can't see. Camera. Can... Just aim it right here, right here. Aim it right there and focus oh, okay. it. Okay, just a second. Hold on. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch. Oh, that one's not doing it. <laughs> Why is that one not doing it? I don't, I don't know. I just did. What the heck? Where's the one you did it on? Um, over here somewhere. That one doesn't like oh, here. you. Come on, over here. Over here. Over here, we're looking still. Maybe this one will work. I just did it. Watch. Watch. Oh, it's not working. What the heck? It's the plants that move. When you touch them, they close up. It's pretty amazing, actually. But that's not the ones, I guess. I just had one that just did it. Did you? I do not know. I can't see very well to tell where they are. Oh, I'll take my sunglasses off. That'll probably help with the blindness. I don't see them now. I don't see any. They look like a fern almost, kind of. And if you touch them, they close up. They're kind of cool. Yeah, they're really awesome. Yeah, they're really neat. But I don't see any now. What are you doing there, Kalito? You're being a good boy, aren't you? These ones maybe, Trace? Yeah, those are it, like that, yeah. There, yeah, so we'll let Tracy do it. We'll try Trace. these. They look more like maybe Yeah, so watch this. So Just a second. So when you touch them, watch what happens. Cool, eh? Yeah, go a bit closer. If you can, go a bit closer and focus it. Here goes the other one up there. Okay, so watch this, watch. They don't like it when you touch them. It's freaking amazing. Watch, watch this, yeah. watch this one here, watch, watch it. That is so cool. Yeah. They're like, don't touch us. See this one? Yeah. It is pretty neat. It is. It's, it's amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I don't like, know what they're called. Let's see this little one here. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, I don't know it's, how long it takes them to unfold again, though. Yeah, I don't know. How long they wait before they... Yeah, they are neat, though. It's beautiful down here. It is. Oh, this is a, the water? This is a beautiful piece of property. Maybe we should have bought this. It's not very big, honey. I like it though. I know, but the problem is when it get heavy rain. Yeah, heavy once we make, once we make some more money, we'll buy a bunch of properties. Yeah. Once we're, once we're zillionaires, starting to spit rain. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty beautiful down here. That's for sure. I'd live in this, Trace. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell him my idea because then yeah. somebody might do it. <laughs> you never know, maybe someday they eh, will do it. Yep. This is very nice.
But I say this is just one of like, you just drive and you come across these spots and it's like, it's amazing. It's just beautiful. I could hang out here like all day. You know, you bring down a, get some nice weather, bring down a book or a little barbecue or whatever and just hang out and you and you you never have any problems. Nobody seems to care as long as you're not obviously trespassing right in front of somebody's house or, you know, and you don't leave garbage behind. Beautiful. Is that a bamboo, Trace? That's a bamboo too. Trace, that's a bamboo. The monster bamboo. That's all one bamboo tree. She's a monster. And then somebody's got like a lookout here. See how they got a lookout built up there, Trace? This house here's got a lookout built. It's nice. That's a really good idea. Look right there, look. See it? Yes, it is. Well, look what you're looking at. Pretty cool idea. Nice little house. Nice property, actually. Yeah, this is a nice little house. Got the flag flying. Oh. Hmm? I said mm -hmm. this is nice because it's up. Mm -hmm. Well, that there. That's it, sitting pretty but, low. But it would drain because it's got a but it's still river low. right there. Yeah, I don't think it would flood. I mean, when you've seen how quick the water could have You can see, here. you can see where it's been draining, Trace, right here. Yeah. Like these drain. You, that's the thing here. You have to be careful of some of the properties too. Is if you get if they're low, obviously with everything being very elevated above. Here, we got to see the dog. Hey. What are you doing? Hello. Hello, and there's a the shepherd. How are you? How are you guys? Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. Aren't you? You're healthy and happy? Yeah. So, on our little trip out we have come across San Ramon Norte it's a school. and it's starting to rain that's the school like which I said in other videos if you look for the schools you get the name of where you are and we've seen the sign for this on our road and they have a nice mosaic it's welcome to San Ramon North yes somebody's made a beautiful mosaic sign very nice and the kids just got out of school and there's a building up here we could see down in the distance with like a thatched roof with the, which is pretty cool little community so i don't think we've been here before i don't think nope that i know of. oh see look at this dude oh yeah there's your they're very religious here i don't know who that is very religious i don't think that's jesus but it looks like saint francis of assisi maybe Store. This is the other thing with Costa Rica, okay? So you drive around Costa Rica and you can be in like the middle of nowhere. And I mean in the middle of nowhere and you see stores like that. I think it's all bamboo. Or yeah, it is bamboo, some yeah. bamboo. Beautiful. That's pretty nice. For sure. I'm going to a big hill. Yeah, this is the this is the crazy road we can see from down below. There's the church, which actually is a fair size too. Climbing. Oh, that the water the coming out from up above. Somebody's there's a, a water reservoir right up there. There's another one of the coffee um, shoots. The buildings right there. There's kids coming out of school. So there's another one of those coffee shoots, which you see, like I said, everywhere. This is quite a climb. Oh. And I'm going to turn around. Why? Because I'm going to head back because to the Tracy road. Because Tracy chickened out, that's no, why. No, I'm just going to head back to the road. Uh -huh. to that's a nice house. Yes, it is a nice house. Yeah, it actually is. If it starts really pouring rain, the you road's going to get slick. And yes, the road's going to get exactly. slick. Exactly. So. And I don't really want to be on the roads when it's like getting I'd slick. go straight through San Ramon. I think I'm it'll take do. you back to the highway, I think. And it'll be downhill, which is a little better maybe than trying to climb. Oh. It doesn't take long for the rain to come in. Oh, my switch is working again. No, no, it's not. It won't go down. Switch on. My Toyota's broken. My window won't go down. Jeez. 
see how quickly it clouds up into the mountains. That's a beautiful church. It is a nice church. It's a nice size very too. Very Spanish looking, very mm -hmm. Spanish looking. Yeah, can you roll my window down just a little bit for me? Huh? Just, yeah, that's good. Get some ventilation in here and get... Yeah. This is, this is downtown San Ramon Norte. Which is San Ramon Norte. Yes, it is a super La Latina, yep. which is a little grocery store. Mini supers, they call them, yeah. Yeah, and it has yep. all your basics, milk, bread, um, you know, like water, drinks. And yep. I mean, everything you can buy, but it's all in small items. And uh, you see that a lot here in Costa Rica. You're driving around in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there's another little store here, too. Right here. Yeah. So you get all your supplies. Man, it's raining. Say it never rains, it pours. Here they mean it. So those little stores would service. There's houses all up. There's roadways coming off of this one. Houses up in the mountains here. So there'd be, a, you know, I don't know how many people be in the community. Maybe a couple hundred, maybe a thousand. I don't no, know. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Might be a thousand. Hundred, a Hard to say. In these small communities, if, if even that. But every one of them, like Tracy was saying, everyone's got their own little. Always, always, always have mini supers. Little grocery stores, services. Some some might have a soda a restaurant. Yeah, look at the water running down here already, and this is just in, this is just in minutes, like the, literally just minutes. Doesn't rain in Costa Rica. September, October, rainiest months. And we're what late September now. Okay, we're in October, end of the week. Here's a little bridge. Tight squeeze. Oh, here's oh. more river. Correct, running all down. Yeah, I probably he's coming off of that other waterway. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. You can see visibility gets a little iffy too when you're driving and you get heavy rain. But it's not like there's a lot of traffic, but you still have to be careful of other buddy because well, any... the other thing is too, you have to be careful. You have to really watch out for where roads can be washed away. Because sometimes you can be driving on the roads and there'll be like a big chunk of the side of the road gone. Usually they'll have markers there. And what I was going to say is you have to be careful because there, there are other vehicles that can come at you. You never know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what it'll be. Yeah, see, see, this it'll is be where exactly the roads. I mean. Just a second, slow down. I can show them here. See where it's eroding. If you can see that through the rain. Sorry about that, but yeah. And see, they just they don't. And see there, you can see the kind of erosion. See the water coming down. So you have to always be careful. So that's the same. You drive in these roads, especially when it's raining. But well, even when it's not raining, you really got to be. You got to be careful. You really got to keep your uh, eye on what's around you and what's coming up ahead of you too. Because that, that was actually pretty well marked. But a lot of places, when you're driving around here, trust me, they're not so well marked. There's another bridge. See, look how quick that water's moving already. Yep, she don't take long to no. get a lot of water happening. Hoping this is going to bring us back to the main road at some point. 
because once again we really don't know where we are <laughs> but we know what area kind of at least here we know the area kind of but uh other than that that's a beautiful little tinkle home too yeah beautiful. you know all the rivers down here yeah the rivers down, down in that it. valley there you can't see it's down in the valley but it's beautiful and this is what gets them moving pretty good is this kind of rain. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but we're gonna have to censor this video now. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That was a loud bang. That was a rock or something. I doubt there's anybody shooting at us because there aren't very many guns in Costa Rica. Although we have seen gunshots. And I think I think they do hunt, but they're not supposed to. They're, they've got a Texas flag out there. Oh really? Yes, yeah, Costa Rican and Texas. Yeah. So I'm thinking they're probably American expats. Another little coffee jack there, but I can't get to it. Yeah, I can quickly show it to you. The chutes for it to be down the other side of the trucks can pull out the load. Like I said, they're all they're everywhere. The back roads, you see them. Oh, you should see that road. <laughs> There was a road there that went up, like it was steep. You see some roads that just blows your mind, it's like crazy steep. Which is why uh, four wheel drive is uh, highly recommended. Yeah. I definitely would not go off and pay like the main highways with a, with a, with a, without a four wheel, no way. We get a little paved section here, see the water running down it. Yes, it doesn't take long for the water to start moving. Which could mean we're coming to a road, a, uh, like a highway, but it might not. The pavement could end any time. It's a big building. Yeah, it is a big building there. It's a big building here too. Oh, it's like, a, well, no, that's a, they got tables and chairs and stuff in there, almost like a community center or something. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at the bridge for the river. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that's the original bridge. Oh, now that is yeah. cool. Okay. I that would have been, that oh, would have been. Hated. Yeah, they got it. That would have been an actual crossing. We've been on bridges like that with the car. That's cool. Yeah. That's what they've got that one closed off because it's about had it. But we have actually been on bridges like that. The original suspension bridges. They're scary. They they like me. You're driving over. They move all over the place. That one's they're had it. Freaking wobble and swing and shit. Yeah, they swing. Crazy. And that one's had it, so they've closed it down. It's obviously past the point of being safe. Oh, here's another little community. Uh, about Hermanas Calvo. I don't know if that's the name of the place or not. They got their own church again. I don't know if there'll be a school here or not that we can see where we are, but there might be. Another convenience store. Yep. Yeah, nice size one actually. Yeah. Oh, it's even got a little restaurant or something yeah. like that too. Like it's a, a, uh, it's a fair size. There's a market. There's oh. a market there. Oh, yeah. See, I think. If you look. This is where we were over in the mountains on the Montanias over on there. On the far side that where you can see all the cloud. Here. Yeah. That's where we were. All the parakeets. See all the parakeets flying in the tree. But yeah, this is where we were in the Montanias over there. That's yeah. where we were. Because that's where the heavy rain is right yeah. now. That we drove out of. Moors. Some there too. Yeah. Baca. Cow. Yes, and when you get when you get out of the rain and you're back in the sun, trust me, it's it 
There's a pet food place there. Pet supply. The nice thing here is you still see mom and pop stores everywhere. As you drive, you see mom and pop stores. Like PetSmart hasn't taken over and closed all these people down. Well, tell them and about the, the gas the, stations too. Like yes, anywhere. and the Home Depot hasn't come in and closed all these little hardware stores down. So they all, they all get supported by their locals and everybody has jobs. And uh, yeah, we're like, we're just at the gas station and well, all the gas stations here, every pump has its own attendant and they get paid and that's their job and if you pull up and they pump your gas for you they'll check the oil for you if you need air in the tires you don't have to pay a dollar and do it yourself Actually, it's like almost two, i think it's two dollars back home now whatever it is back home you just ask them if they would mind checking the tires and they're happy to do it they have air hoses right there and they pump them up for you to what you ask them and then they have jobs so at the gas stations they have four sets of pumps and there's four jobs and i don't know it's just and I know it's a developing country and that the labor, they, but they, these people have jobs, they're getting paid and, and they're surviving and, they're, and they're, they're, they're always friendly and happy and seem to enjoy the job. I don't know. And the other thing too, when you go in the grocery stalls, nearly every single aisle in the grocery stalls, they have a person standing there. Yes, there's always to people. Help you. It seems like always people, people to help. There. Yes. And they, they have, and they, just about every single aisle. Um, like when you go into um, places like Walmart and um, the Chinese stores or whatever they are. Um, well, yeah. we don't want to really mention Walmart too much because they're one of the big, but mind you, they're not the same store as they, the one in San Cedro is in well, no we way. Shop in there very often. Anyway, we go to the local. But it's in no stores. way threatening the smaller stores really either. No. Like, so it's not big enough. I say it's really nice just to see all the mall and the downtown's just bustling and booming. Whereas at home, our downtowns are dead. You know, the Simcoe downtown and, the, and Brantford downtown. The local businesses. That's yeah. Here they support the local businesses. They and don't we shop online as much here. I don't think they are. They're not no, big online I don't know. shoppers. Like we showed you the we showed you the each little community with its own little supermarket and its own little. Some have a little bar and restaurant, and everybody supports it. And uh, I don't know. We'd be way better off if we uh, backed up a little bit. It's supposed to be modern society you know but if we backed up a little bit uh, I think we'd be better off There'd be more jobs more work better service and they, you know these big these huge box stores have taken over and it's it they just killed all these small mom-and-pop businesses at home and the mom and pop businesses were the people that knew what they were doing because they've been doing it for years and the, the ex service was excellent so I don't think I have to tell most people, I'm not sure about the states because I can't vouch for them, but I can't, I don't have to tell much pe most people in Canada what kind of service you get at a lot of the stores now. I know where I am now. We know where we are, where there's are we? There's the pharmacy there. San Isidro? Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's the baker, the baker's is there. So we did a big this circle is, and get back down. This is the down. pharmacy. See, like this guy with the motorcycle? Yeah. He just come up right beside me and right, by, literally right beside me and cut me off. Tracy likes me. Tracy likes to complain about the bikers no, but you all have to. the I'm time. Just, I'm not complaining. I'm yes, saying, I'm telling people, yes, you've got you to watch them. Yes, we've told them that. You do, yes. You do. You've got, you really got to watch out for motorcycles because I'll tell you, they do not, they don't hesitate. They're local here. They're absolutely freaking the, local. The roads, it ain't Canada. That's for sure. You have to always be careful. There's a lot of motorcycles. I'm doing pretty good though because I'm getting to know my way around. As soon as I saw this, I knew where I was. That's the drive-through pharmacy. Yeah, it's got a little drive-through window, and you can. And maybe we've told you before, but you can get like if so. If you pull up there, and you want one Tylenol, you can buy one Tylenol. Or if you want, if you got a head cold and you know you want to just relief for today or allergies, you can buy one pill. And the pharmacists here can give you the medications. Yeah, they so, can. They can give you. Yeah, they can give you like pretty strong drugs. Here. Yeah, they can give you medications. Devices I don't know at what here. point the doctor has prescribed them. I'm not sure, but the, the pharmacists here have a quite a bit this of power. This is where we started, and we just did one big. We did one big yep, circle. We're at the base of the mountain. We drove up past our house, and there's leading up to our house. Right there. I did pretty good though. I found a way. And there we did. Without no GPS, so there's, no way. So there's, there's a little off-road adventure for you.